Paris in the fall, the last months of the year and the end of the millennium. The city holds many memories for me, of cafes, of music, of love, and of death. As I picked myself up, all I could hear was the ceaseless drone of traffic. Life went on around me, but the explosion was to change my life forever. Hello guys, and welcome back to another Let's Play with me, Illustration. And today we are going to have a little play of um, the, the classic Broken Sword. Uh, the key it was released in 1996, I think. Oh, whoops, that's just my control pad for one for. Um, yeah, released in 1996 by Revolution Software. Uh, it's a point and click adventure game. Uh, as you all find out as I start to play. Um, so little icons come up with things you can pick up, look at, uh, like that. Just click over here. I examined the jagged glass remaining in the window. It was broken all right. And obviously this is um, he's, he's like Sherlock Holmes with his uh, identifications of of items and stuff like that. Um, used to play this. One, uh, this could really have gone on my my retro gaming uh, episodes. Cause this is this is like this is a, an old game. Uh, I think you can get a newer, up to date version um, on, on on Steam. Um, but this is this is the actual old one. So resolution is a bit poor, but gameplay still excellent. Um, okay, so this is our first main screen. This is our first screen. We've we've looked at the jagged glass as a uh, oh, I mean our main character here, George Stewart. Um, 
so yes. I've not wander around, see what we can find. What's this? I contemplated crawling under the umbrella and pretending none of this had ever happened. Well, that's no good. That'd be a little bit of a boring game, wouldn't it? Uh, I think if I right click and look at it. The umbrella had protected me from the bomb blast, but it was of no use to me now. What was that umbrella made of? Is the the stuff black? The black boxes on on airplanes are made of maybe. Uh, what's this? Wrapped around the lamp post was a newspaper. Ooh, let's pick that up. It's a little hand thing saying "pick up," so we'll pick that up. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. That was the only news story. The rest was rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Then I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah ed Din, 1345. And we will casually just put that in our pockets. Um, so if we go up to the top, this is our little uh, inventory, inventory, whatever you want to say it. Uh, if you left click, you can drag it around like that, and then if you left click on something else, you use it. So maybe if we use it on the umbrella. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. No idea what you're on about. Well, you can right click. And it was a it. Paris daily tabloid newspaper full of sex, scandal, and sports results. Oh, okay. So, uh, little beckoning hand. So come over here. So we can look over here. Uh, well, there's nothing over there. Oh, down there. What's that? Down the alley with a clown went. Who likes clowns? No one likes clowns. Clowns are an evil. Ooh, music. And lots of things to look at. Alright, okay. Let's have a look at uh, this. What's this? I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. Okay, have a look at that. Nope. Uh, the bins, maybe? Nope. Okay, okay. Over oh, this bin. Maybe this bin has answers. Maybe the clown's hiding in here. Nope. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Oh, lovely. Okay, okay. But okay, it was just a cat. There was nothing of interest. See anything? What's that? Drain pipe thingy? My old cover? Yeah. Okay. I tried to lift the cover with my fingers, but couldn't gain any leverage. Some, t some superhero detective you are. Okay, let's go back onto the street then. Do uh, do do. There's a dude there. there Let's investigate the, uh, the cafe I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. I didn't want him to steal anything from him. He did. I just wanted you to have a look. This guy has problems. Beer. I needed beer. a stiff drink, but I hated the taste of brandy. Oh, brandy. There we go. Can we pick that up? Or? A mysteriously undamaged bottle of spirit stood on the bar. 
talk to her. Who is she? Ah, oh, that's the waitress. Is she alive? Oh, my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. What is your name, Sherry? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh, American. She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Okay, so we've got some options now. We go. No, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. Let's go with, uh... Yes. We're gonna be here. Yes, I am. I studied under Dr. Benton. Who is he? Only one of the most brilliant medical minds on this planet. He taught me everything I know about medicine. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Um. Uh, no, you can't have a brandy. You've just been blown up. You could be in shock. No alcohol. Okay, you're the doctor. What about the old man? Is he dead? Yes, yes, he's he's been blown to bits. Yes, he is. Ah, oh, mon dieu. Okay, so that was not very helpful. Uh, let's have a little look around this room. We got anything? No. Oh, that looks about it. Um, let's go back outside. Check that. What's this? There's a table. Anything behind the table? I considered straightening the table, but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. What's this? You've gone around. You messed with the, the umbrella. You've taken a, a newspaper. You've gone in. You've done with the brandy. Picked someone up off the floor. Told them you were a doctor. My fault. And you don't want to disturb any evidence. Mm. What is wrong with you, George Stobart? If that is your real name. Okay, what we got? Please! Please! Hold it right there! Oh, don't shoot! I'm innocent! I'm an American! Can't make up your mind, huh? <laughs> I demand to see the American Consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground! Put that thing away, Sergeant Moose. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the café, march. Good Sergeant What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur. Stop holding your breath at once! Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, Moo? Oui, monsieur, but I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Clearly, the killer knew of his presence and how many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? All we know is that he is dead. It seemed reasonable to assume A great detective assumes nothing. Take Maigret, for instance. But, but he was a fictitious character, monsieur. Why, he was no more real than Poirot or Tintin. That's different, Mou. They were comedy Belgians. Anyway, it is unlikely that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. 
Examine the girl and take her statement if you can. Et maintenant, tout business. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so, apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Uh, yes, yes we did. Yes I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? The clown. We said no, we didn't. Oh, we can see we saw a clown. So let's go with the clown. Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Evil. Bon, the picture is forming in my mind. And it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Mu? She'll live. She confirms the doctor's statement. We? Oui? You did not tell me you are a doctor, monsieur. <laughs> uh, no, that's right. I didn't think it was relevant. Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. Enjoy your vacation, Dr. Stobart. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Academic? You are about to witness a scientific breakthrough! Okay. okay. Alright, so we've gone can talk to this lady here. Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yeah, that's right, on holiday in Paris. Some holiday, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with an hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside, just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh no, nothing like that. I am Nicole Collard from La Liberté. Well, what's that, some kind of nightclub? Uh, no, it is a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you can interview me, about the bombing. You know, an eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. Oh, God. It's him again. Hmm. Okay. So what do we know? 
What can we ask him about? We'll ask him about the clowns, the history, the clowns. Why does George Stobart remind me of Brian from Family Guy? I don't know, just, just reminds me of him. Okay, so we'll ask him about the, we'll ask her about the clown. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Um, okay, I ask about. Who's the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Planter. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. <coughs> Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. Have you seen Rosso? Is he here? He's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. What? That guy is weird. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about clown again. Why won't you tell me about this clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story, and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on tour, monsieur. Fine, I'll, uh, see you soon. Okay. Okay, so we've investigated this area, and we've looked in the cafe, we've met Russell, Sergeant Moo and Nicole, the um, journalist lady. I guess a good place to stop for this episode. And we, the next episode, we will investigate down that street there and see what we can find out. See if we can find this clown killer. So, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will. See you next time. Oh, better save it first. Okay. Mm -hmm.